Hello, everybody, and welcome to the latest IELTS lecture. In this video, we'll be covering Netflix and our entertainment short series that Disney Plus and Netflix. So let's get started. We skipped the splash screen and the switching user profiles for data sensitivity. So we're in an adult profile right now. Later, we'll be switching to a kid's one, and we're going to be covering the basics. So let's get started. Just for time's sake, we won't be covering our account because that is private information, but let's jump right into it. So we can see a featured title right when we jump into Netflix. We can see my list, all of our favorite shows. Then this profile's name, Mommy and Daddy, um, it has continue watching. And a new feature that just came out today is that you can actually remove from a row in many other features like like, not for me, episodes, and info, download next episode. And that the remove from road feature is a new feature that was actually added today on March 1st. If you're watching later, then you'll know the date that it came out. You can see all of the different shows that we've been watching. Popular on Netflix shows in the top 10, maybe not, but very popular shows. You can see trending I don't really know why there's two of them, um, popular on Netflix and trending, but there is, and they show you suggestions because you watch something, they suggest other things, which is very pretty cool, and critically acclaimed TV dramas, like a featured thing, and then there's um, Netflix Originals, which is a lot of what Netflix is. Watch it again, my favorite shows like Stranger Things and Lost in Space, and some other people in my family's favorite shows, um, and that's pretty much all these. So there's different genres, and then once you scroll down, there's top 10 in the U.S. today, pretty cool layout. I wonder how you develop this app. Then we can see new releases, many other categories so many that it ends very far down so there's lots of content to watch people always say like um, I'll never run out of shows on Netflix because there's just so many of them so let's filter our results there's TV shows and then we can um, filter all of these different ones so let's filter some sci-fi ones where is it Sci-fi and fantasy, my favorite genre. Let's see those. So, Lock and Key, 3%. It looks like a show that someone pinned in my family. Continue watching, that or filter those results. Trending, all of your favorites. Perfect. Okay, now let's see our next thing. Movies. Oh my god, so many great Netflix movies. Takes a long time to load. So many of them. You can even filter just like we did before. Looks like there's more of that. Let's do. Hmm. I'll do a thriller. I haven't watched too many of those, but they're pretty good sometimes. They make me really scared though. <laughs> so those are some Netflix basics. But what else is there? Well, we can add things to our list. So let's go back to home and let's add something that we want to watch to our list. So brainchild is already added to our list. And to add it to your list, you just click this button like that. And once we're in a show, brainchild, I haven't watched it yet, but looking forward to watching it soon. We can see our list, rate, share, and you can even download it for specific shows, which will appear in your download tab. So let's download this and we can see it right here. Only some Netflix content is available to download because then you could download everything and have all the Netflix content, even when it disappears. So you can see some metadata like the cast, creators, and genres. You can see all the different episodes. Looks like there's just a season one for this show. You can see trailers and more. And then it gives you helpful suggestions. So if you like this show, there's other shows that Netflix recommends to you. Let's see the search bar. So it's right here. You can just click on that right there. And then there's top searches, always going to be there. Let's search for a great show, Stranger Things. And it comes with, with so many results. So you can click on Stranger Things. Hopefully the new season comes out soon. Um, and you can see more like this. So I need to find some new shows. Um, and they're right here. So 
you can also cast it to a TV. And we can click that. No device is found. There we go. We can cast it to my living room TV. We won't do that right now, but that's a pretty cool feature that we can do. Perfect. That's the basics of the Netflix app for adults. But there's a kid's profile, too, which you can click on right here. And it has kid-friendly results. We won't be going that in-depth to it. But it's kid-friendly results and things that are just for kids. We even have some favorite characters that are right here. And that's it. So that's the best of the Netflix app. Thank you for joining us in this lecture. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you in the next video. One more thing. As we said, we can't comment, actually, because that we've been seeing some inappropriate comments. Just be sure to keep it fun, PG, and we won't, we, we've disabled comments for right now because we've been handling these very sensitive, inappropriate comments, um, but eventually we hope to re-enable them with the guidance from everybody in our supporters. Thank you so much. See you in the next lecture, I hope, fans.